Hey, it's KMA, how's your day today? And welcome to the corner. We are in Fangorn. Fangorn. Yes, where we can brew these masterful things. I think I showed those a little bit maybe in the stream or a video. I don't remember if they were in a video. I'm gonna have to check that out. But um, you can only brew certain things in Fangorn, the ant drafts, and these are in cups, you fill them up with water and you throw one of these bushes into it, and the one all the way to the right is the water breathing one, which you can see there growing in the water behind me, you see that, you see that, yeah, behind me, and um, so, what I have been doing in between this last episode and with Mike that I did, thank you Mike for an awesome episode, and uh, doing this is collecting some stuff, let me show you what I've been collecting, these are the potions. So, I figured, you know, um, I would have to make a building for the potion. So, I was going to make a build right here, right on the corner of the lake. But I decided I am going to try something funky donkey. Spunky. Spunky. Funky. Why is it always raining on the server? But anyways, over here, in the water. I'm thinking someplace around here, maybe a little bit over here. Um, I'm going to make a building on the water and it's going to look like a certain thing. And I do not want to tell you what that certain thing looks like um, because it may look like crap and I'm not going to be happy if it does and I may change my mind. But basically, um, uh, the building is going to be a potion room with the ant drafts and also the magical brews that you can also do. Um, so this will be my potion area, so whenever I need potions, I can just come here and sit in the water. No. <laughs> sit in the building and um, a building should look like a tree that walks. I have yet to design it. So it may backfire, but that's what I'm going to try and do. And that's what I'm going to attempt to do right now. And I will show you my failure or my success in, well, a second for you guys. Probably a couple of days for me. One thing everybody knows, when you come to Fangorn, you lower your axe. Because the trees come alive with the sound of axe on wood. And they come and they kill you. But I figured... Seeing that building with wood, it was not a tree. It was wood I was placing. So, I was designing my ant and putting wood down. And I put a piece of wood down to, you know, see how it looked. And it didn't look good. So, I went over and chopped it down. And all of a sudden, I'm being attacked by ants. And I'm being attacked by horns. I don't even know how to say it, but the other trees that come and attack you. And, uh, yeah, that was no good. So I'm like, oh my gosh, how am I going to design a building in Fangorn without the ability of <clears throat> chopping? <laughs> because the building's made out of wood. I had to go to the Uruk Highlands and kill some Uruks to get my Fangorn to the plus side so the trees would stop killing me. And what I ended up doing is I started making the ant out of cobble. Um... So I can design it and then replace the ants, which will be my potion room, my brewing room of the future. And I'm going to replace the cobble with logs. Let me show you um, what I've been doing so far. It's not done. I mean, it doesn't have arms or anything, but I'm still designing the thing. And I think it is coming out pretty good, but it's getting a little bit too tall and it's growing itself into a tree and I'll fix that um, in a moment or two uh, when I get done and start putting the wood in there and I don't know if I should just get my alignment on Fanghorn a little bit higher so I can chop a couple of pieces of wood to make it look better but um, I think it's coming along pretty well it is cobble and it will be replaced by wood but take a look there is my ant um, it is pretty tall. It's pretty big. I haven't uh, done the backside. I'm just trying to get the size of things down. And up there, um, there's the eyes. You can kind of see the eyes and the um, 
eyebrows and there's a nose behind those leaves that's what i gotta do is get rid of all this stuff so you can see the face and stuff so basically what i am looking at is i'll have some sort of entrance in the toes and you can go up through the leg here and there's gonna be a room right here and that's where the glass is the green glass and you can like look out over fangorn and i am gonna have the potion room in there and hopefully everything will look good so, I'm going to do a little bit more work, but I might show you a couple other things before I finish this. I'm kind of hoping I can finish this in this episode. This took me three to four hours, because it's a designing, you know, I had to rebuild it a couple of times. It's hard to build things in <laughs> blocks. <laughs> I wish we had some corners sometimes in this game, but yeah, I'm taking the Ant Design, um that they have in this game and I'm gonna uh I'm using that as the basis for it so it's hopefully gonna look um better but I mean it's not too bad it's not too bad uh, it's kind of like okay let's see what this is gonna look like when it's done either way it's gonna be here whether or not it comes out like uh just looking okay or if it comes out looking like an amazing feat we won't really know until I replace it with wood and clean it up a little bit so you can see the whole thing. I, um, it's a lot taller than I was expecting, but I, yeah. <laughs> and I got to put the branches and stuff on the top, which will probably be another 30 or 40 blocks tall. And hopefully, uh, I don't hit the... Uh, height limit, but I'll tell you what, the view up here is amazing, so. Alright guys, I've done a lot of work to the Ents, I've changed the Oak over to Cherry, which is a real pain in the butt to get, and as you see, I have some ladders on the side, so ignore that, but I realized, as I show you the whole thing, I mean, it's not done. I gotta do the sides and stuff, but um, there is a problem. Can you tell what that problem is? Let's see. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It's an odd number. I thought it was even. I have an even nose. I need this to be even instead of odd, which means <laughs> um, squishing the thing closer would make it look too skinny. Pushing it out is the way to go. So I have to move this glass out one, move the face over one, move this leg over one. And I can't use an axe. I have to punch everything like this. And that's going to take a long time. So I'm going to fix this thing, and I am going to make it look good. But, um, yeah, I don't know exactly what I've shown you. I've decided to, because I always forget what clips I do, I've decided to do the inside with this white, um, what's it called? I forget what the name of that stuff is called. It's a really nice wood that you can find in Lothlorien. It begins with L, and it's something I cannot pronounce. Um, I am gonna put railings in down there. Maybe I will enclose that bottom floor like with the cherry wood and just have it a too wide thing like this the whole way up. And like I said, this is gonna be where the potion's gonna be and the rest of the floor is gonna go out there. But I have to move everything over one. Which puts my arm really, really close to the tree. And I gotta replace all this with with a uh, cherry, but it, I mean, it's, it's, the body is basically, um, gonna be done. Uh, let's get a good look at it again. Oh. So the body, the whole body should be done in probably an hour or two worth of work. And I have to design the arms. Hopefully with the arms, it will look really good. But I do like the face, but, um, fix this thing. The best way to look at this is at level. I can't believe it. I got one block to the right of the eye and two blocks to the left. What a nincompoop. I knew something was a little off, but I couldn't figure it out until I counted across there. But anyways, I'll fix this 
show you what it looks like. Maybe I'll be all done except for the arms next time I show this to you. Before I fix the out of alignment of this guy, I am going to go and go to Linden. And we are going to go and raid some of these ruins under the ocean. What are you and um fast travel and hopefully get some mithril because somebody named god of fire who runs a server or is making a server for lord of the rings called rogue i think um is help show me help show me how to um it's a more mithril, and uh, the thing was basically go to the Linden Shore and look for ruins, and um, it's actually been the best way. I've wow, game struggling a little bit. It is the best way that I've seen um, to get mithril because um, the burrow rights and the burrow downs. Yes, yeah, sounds like a great plan. But, uh, it really, I don't know, really didn't work, so, um, seems like the best way so far, and it seemed pretty secret, because I haven't really heard anybody else mention it, other than God of Fire, so, I'm gonna, uh, fix what's going on with the game, and we're gonna go and go into the water. You see that down there? That is a ruin. I don't know if it's been attacked already, but I'm gonna take my my um, my potions and I'm gonna go check out to see if there is anything down here. So let's go check it out. For some reason, I'm still having those lag spikes. Um, I was rendering something, and I think it's still. Um, is messing with the game a little bit, but let's see. And look at this. We've got plenty of stuff in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect the sponge also. Just because it's a rare item. At least I think it is. It's just uh, it's so rare in the regular Minecraft that when I see it, it's, this is sponge, right? Yeah. I have to collect it. So I'm going to do a little, um... A little speed up of getting some of these runes. I have finished the outside of the end. I almost finished, I should say. I'm going to put some branches on his head. I don't know if I'm going to do that in this episode because that's going to be a pain in the butt. I think I might do that during a stream, which reminds me, and if you want to... Um, I'm going to take a snapshot of this with the moon coming out of his head. I actually centered that a little bit better. Uh, if you want to see my streams, follow me. On Twitch, it's KMA's Corner. Twitch, Twitch.tv, KMA's Corner. That's that will work a little bit better. So, um, as you see, let me get over here so you can see a little bit different. I added the arms, which uh, yeah, it's okay, but it's not great. Um, and I started moving some stuff on the inside. You can see that on the inside. So his outer stuff is done, other than. Branches I'm gonna add on this tree on the top. So let me um, go in him. Oh, and show you uh, 
what it is. I mean, this guy is pretty big. But I guess the Ents are supposed to be big. So this is the inside of the Ents. We had a pretty nice view out here. Uh, it's not the best view in the world, but it's pretty good. And I have the chests in here. And I put the Ent things, Ent jars. And I actually am brewing a little liquor here. Because this is the other side of what I'm going to do. I'm going to have brews all along here. I don't know where I'll put the extra chests. I initially was going to have two floors here, but I realized that having another floor here with the glass here would look kind of stupid. And I couldn't really figure out a good way to have the stairs to go up to another floor. I was thinking of having the, the brewing up near where the guy's eyes are. But even still, I think this is going to be good enough. Maybe we'll change it in the future, but I think this will be good enough. So basically... Uh, each one of these chests, I haven't labeled them yet, it's going to have a different type of brew. And here's where I keep my extra things. I have a lot of extra water breathing because I was doing the London thing. I also have the um, unlimited water source here. So we're in the middle of a thunderstorm and I love the sound of thunder in this game. Um, we're in Erebor looking for Dwarven... War? Dwarf Wart? Maybe. Um, <clears throat> so I can make some dwarven tonic. Hi guys, I'm just passing through. I mean, come on. That is an awesome sound, I think. And um, I was told this is kind of where I can find this stuff, but I have been like looking on it. I don't know if you saw the stream. Um, when I watched a stream, <laughs> that thunder is amazing. Oh man, I hope it's not too loud in the video, but anyways, I uh, was watch doing the stream looking for this stuff, and I'm having a really hard time finding it, so I'm out here in Dale, kind of, in Erebor area, looking for the, this dwarf wart, or whatever it's called. So I don't know exactly where to find this stuff. Um, and I'm going to continue looking for it. And when I do, I will have most of the concoctions for the... I'm going to steal this. Shh, you don't see us. I need some wheat to make um, one of the brews. So I'm going to just going to it over to Sharna. I'm going to get um, uh, like a half a stack of this stuff. And I'm going to meet you back at the brew room. The brew room, yes. The ent room of brewness. The brewing room of entness. The whatever. And we are going to make some brews. Is that what I'm looking for up there? No. I actually thought that was a... Um, a uh, flower, but no, 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 no. Oh, come on, guys. Jeez, don't make me want to kill you. I wonder what my dwarven... Well, it doesn't really matter what my dwarven thing is. I am a dwarf friend. That's all that matters. And if I kill these guys, I will become a bigger dwarf friend. But anyways, um, if I find this stuff, I'll let you know. And I'll see you back at the potion. Ent potion room. I have done a lot of work to the ent, but I wanted to show you what I based it on. Look at this. There's a guy hiding back here. <gasps> oh... Him. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. What's going on? This is what I based my ant on. It's nice to see what he actually looks like. Go. Let's go um, check out the basically finished product. There's going to be a couple of things that I need to fix with it. Where Here it is. My little secret observer observation deck. Um, it is definitely goofy. I put the, the leaves oh, on top of his head. So let me get over here and get a better look from the side because I have it sort of blocked off. And it seems okay. It's a little too heavy on the side, but you know what? I'll just say, yeah, it's done. Because, you know, <clears throat> in the past, anytime I do any projects, I could work on them forever and ever and ever. Unless I go, hey, it's done. Well, actually, it should probably have something right there. 
Right, whatever. I might fix that later, but this is what the end will completely look like. Finny, for the most part. I did the, did the leaves during a live stream, which have been posted on uh, YouTube and Twitch. And just to say, um, those aren't episodes. The live streams I'm just posting so people can see them. So if you see a live stream video that says episode 3A, that means it's a live stream that I'm working for episode 3. If it says episode 3F, it would be like the 5th or 6th one, whatever F is in the alphabet. That's working towards episode 3. And this episode kind of took a little bit longer because this is a bigger project than I was expecting to be. When I first thought Potion Room, I was thinking... You know, the size of that foot and stuff. Just, you know, a 5 by 10 area, maybe. But I said, that would be nice to make an ant. So, we got the ant. And uh, so, let me go show you what is going on with this tree. Ouch. That was weird. Okay. Um, let me show you uh, the ant's innards of the guy. This is not where I would normally come into the place because I have a fast travel point right here. I had it in the middle of the room, but I found out that if you have a half slab and you fast travel into the half slab, you're just going to fall right through, and that's no good. So, this is what we got. We got the seven... Is it seven? Yeah, we got the seven brews. Um, each one of the ones for the end drafts. Then we got the main ones for... We got the Atlas. Look at that. Six minutes of strength. Got another Atlas brew. We got the. Um, we got two minutes strength, two minutes speed. What's the difference between these two? Oh, that one's got regeneration. We got two of those. Um, and what is in here? We got the strong Dwarven Tonic. It's um, not the potent one like these because I have yet to find the Dwarf Wart. Um, and I spent so many hours looking for the Dwarf Wart, and I just gave up. So I just put some of these drafts that I have found around, and I added the, the third one, because um, these aren't really potent. But, you know, uh, when I do find some Dwarf Wart, I will find a, a Dwarf Merchant to trade with to do that um so i'm gonna make some oopsies i'm gonna make some eh, we don't need that we need at least this many signs one two three i'm gonna make signs for this um and we got actually i should make more signs for all of these and i have the the uh and stuff in here just because they don't last as long water breathing for three minutes fire resistance for three minutes you know um so you're gonna go through them this just regenerates your hunger bar i'm pretty sure night vision three minutes it's not like uh this where it's two minutes okay that did not make any sense like six minutes and whatever or even if I had a potent one of these, I think that's 12 minutes or something. This is 8 minutes, you know. Um, and I might add some more in the future, like the orc ones. But I'm not too sure if the orc ones will really hurt me. So I'm going to put the signs here to label which one it is. And I think I'm going to make it so uh, people can use this. I'll change this over. Um, so friends of mine can use this area. I'll share the wave point so you can come here and make um, potions and stuff. But um, it's been a long time of making this episode just because I bit off more than I can chew. Uh, in the next episode, we're going to go check out what Smile BC has done. He's been doing some sneaky, sneaky stuff in Rohan. And I got to stop him from doing the sneaky sneakies. And I'm going to start getting the... Um, the blocks and stuff I need for my base and we're gonna start working on my base so I can have a storage unit because oh my god my I'm so disorganized on this uh, server right now so I look forward to you guys watching this episode and checking out the streams at twitch kmh corner
twitch.tv KMA's Corner. And you can see me, uh, you know, getting the blocks for the build and stuff and probably designing a little bit of the base that I'm going to be doing and choosing the location and all of that in the next week or so. And uh, hopefully it won't be so long till my next episode. Thank you for your patience. I hope you enjoy my derpy ends. <laughs> and uh, I hope uh, other people on the server will have... Um, have the ability to use this just uh if you can share some of the plants and stuff that if you have some go right ahead uh i don't mind i'm um, if you are part of my my team my my uh, crew that's gonna protect middle earth from the evil orcs and yurik guys and all the evil bad people you're free to use this all right i'll see you guys later goodbye <laughs>